Welcome back to First Listen, everybody. I hope you're doing well today. The sun's just guiding right through. Perfect theme for this First Listen this week, where we listen to Breaking Ben's latest release, their sixth studio album, Ember. This album is pretty good. We'll start off by saying that. Let's kind of give a background of Breaking Ben and me. I've been to a Breaking Ben show. It's awesome. Really good time. Some really good stuff. I've listened to every album numerous times. I mean, we go the whole way from Saturnate to We're Not Alone to Phobia to, you know, their latest album, Dark Before Dawn. You go to The Dear Agony I've listened to on repeat. All of these albums have kind of been a real thing. I mean, even when you count the, the breakup there of the band and then the reformation, this band has just been this big wave of awesome for me and I know that's not a big thing for for some people this band doesn't always hit quite the same way with everybody and that's fine I feel like I need to put this right up front I'm a huge fan of this band I really like all of their stuff they have this sound that's very poppy but kind of a heavier rock than most bands that are trying to do that so it always comes off really well for me all that said, let's go ahead and get into this first listen. The album opens up with Lyra, a very nice soft piano interlude that does quickly go right into Feed the Wolves, a track that it's like they know you. It's like you know this track, like you've heard it before, but it's not the same track. It's weird to kind of be in this mode with Breaking Ben. To, just know what to expect and then like have it have them deliver that same thing it's it's a beautiful thing the thing that kind of mixes it up is this does feel a little bit heavier than normal and I love it there's that sample in the middle there too that had me thinking what am I listening to is it is this Breaking Ben because they normally don't do that at least not from my memory but this track opens really well and this is an album that kind of needs it. It's not like it's been too long since they've released anything. It's more just, you know, three years. I was hoping for a really killer release. And this track really helped start it off nicely. Through a distorted effect, we have Red Coal River coming right through with more heavy. And then this fast, medium, slow, fast, medium, slow kind of pace. And it kind of just... It does, it paces you. It, it really sets the expectation for the track. And the expectation is paid off when it really hits its stride. And for me, that stride is the screams that come through in such a way that I, I forgot he could scream like this. Good on him. Still going with the good screams. Keep on doing it, man. And I feel like the screams continue on Tourniquet, a track that really uses those screams and then kind of brings it back down a little softer. Just just the message in some of these tracks, and I'll talk about a few here later that, that did really affect me, really comes through with this delivery, kind of balancing act that they're doing. Just... Brilliant production by Ben here. What else can you say about it? Again, you feel like you've heard some of this before, but it's not in a bad way. It's familiar. And who doesn't like that? And the soft parts I feel are really accented here in this track because there's so much heavy, but there's also so much heart and so much anguish in this one that... You just can't help but feel it. A nice, catchy riff pulls you in for Psycho. And man, these lyrics blew me away. In the cold eternal night, I am the fading ember. Every scar we try to hide, I am the fake that you made me. I mean, dude. There's a lot of these just the whole way through the album, just these statements 
that kind of hits you like this one. I mean, this one really stuck out to me in this track. Whew. I mean, and, and take it for what you will. This is surrounded by heavy guitars and screams and, you know, a real big change up here in these last two albums, especially for Breaking Ben. They've really been doing their thing for a while, but I feel like this track is where it just started to do it right up in my face on this album. Slow and Patient, we have The Dark of You, which comes through so, so tender, so... so softly, so personal. It really comes through. And I was kind of affected by this track. And I do get affected on albums, so deal with it. But this one really hit the right notes the right somber notes, the right, that right feeling that you wanted to hit. And I feel like even with the simple drums, which did kind of keep me in this one, the difference in vocal delivery on this track from everything else on the album really set it apart. It's a track I like a lot. Down opens like a horror movie, but quickly we're kind of guided out of that creepy horror vibe and then just into the track, but then the lyrics, they do a thing to us. When Ben chimes in with these lyrics full of the sad darkness that just hits you so deep, you're kind of just taken on the journey. And for me personally, I kind of just floated away until I realized the track was done and was just like, where did I go? I was being told this story and I didn't know where I was. It was just so dark and sad that it, it transported me. What a cool feeling. Continuing the theme of reflection, we have Torn In Two, a track that kind of does come in a little bit different. It does then at some point get to this, this peak where it hits so right. I mean, a track like this kind of kind of could miss, but it does this thing where it starts light and then it goes heavy and then it pulls it back at like three minutes and then it goes heavy again and dang, it hits just right. And I feel like on this track, there are these vocal moments where, where they kind of just stretch and they do, they cut you deep. But that ending, jeez, man, that really did it for me. More heavy, more chunky guitar here on Blood, a track that kind of just makes you feel as the track continues. I don't have much to say about this because, again, this is another track that kind of pulled me out of it with so much heavy and just floored me that I didn't really know what else to say about the track. Like, I didn't know what to think. It was good. And moving on, we have Save Yourself, a track that, well, it alternates between this spoken vocal and then this scream. And it works. It, it, did, it did work on me, but it almost didn't. And I feel like that was almost a risk that didn't pay off, but it did. So I, I guess it doesn't much matter that it was a risk because it worked. But I feel like this could have been a huge swing and miss. And we don't really need that on a Breaking Ben album because there's only usually about 10 tracks or so. And on this one, there are only 10 tracks because there's two interludes, but we need them all to kind of hit just right. And this one, it almost missed, but then pulled us back in and was like, yeah, you're gonna listen to the rest of this album. Well done. Close your eyes. Man, this track, it really hits that nostalgia chord for me. I mean, vocals check, drums check, guitar check, thematic tie-in check. It hits all of the Breaking Ben check marks that you needed to hit. And then, when it finally tells us to go ahead and close your eyes, 
I did, and I was faded right into Vega, which really felt like the perfect exclamation in the softest way to kind of take us out of the album and send us on our way potentially to another listen because this album is one we're gonna listen to a lot I'm 100% picking this one up I recommend you do the same if you're a fan of Breaking Ben and you like some some poppy heavy rock this is a very good album what I will say here is this album is nothing crazy on the guitar is nothing crazy on the vocals except for when the screams go out of their mind the drums aren't out of their mind or too crazy or anything like that but all together is where this thing really succeeds on their own maybe they're not that special I, I like them but when they come together it is something else so definitely go check out this album hit up those comments down below with your thoughts about this release I hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching and have a nice day. It's very nice out. We'll see you in the next first listen.